Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 13 through 17. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Then they sent to him some Pharisees and some Herodians to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one. For you do not regard people with partiality but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. It is lawful, or is it lawful, to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see it. And they brought one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered the emperors. Jesus said to them, give to the emperor the things that are the emperors. And to God, the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. So it is November 3rd, 2020, Super Tuesday, Election Day. Um, what I think is perhaps the, I know we tend to say this almost every election, but um, once again, yet again, this is probably the most important Critical, vital election of our lifetime. Um, and in light of that, we uh, have read to you Mark chapter 12, verses 13 through 17. And this is a, a slightly political passage, if you will, because the uh, the hypocritic uh, Pharisees and Herodians, um, they, they wanted to ensnare Jesus with this political question of whether it was right to pay taxes or not. And of course, Jesus in his wisdom, knowing the hypocrisy that was in their heart, he, he answered their question. He said, of course, you should pay taxes but watch this. He said, give to the emperor, who at the time was Caesar, right? Or, or if we were to transpose that to our time, it would be give to uh, the IRS, right? <laughs> give to the government what belongs to the government. Yes, pay your taxes. Uh, we learn in the book of Romans, chapter uh, uh, 13, that not only are we to pay our taxes, but we are to submit to uh, authority. We are to obey the laws of the land, not only um, out of fear of punishment, uh, but also just out of conscience that we should obey the laws. And so we see over and over again, uh, scriptures call to us and uh, through, Christ, through Christ Jesus, and Christ Jesus pointing back to the scripture, constantly reminding us to, again, pay our taxes, meet our financial responsibilities, and to follow the laws of the land. However, there is another responsibility that God calls us to. And that is what today is all about. Um, in the United States of America, we have the great privilege to choose our leaders. Uh, similarly, uh, 
in the very beginning of the Jewish monarchy, when uh, God would raise up prophets, and those prophets were to hear from the Lord. And when they chose, or perhaps in today's vernacular, you might say, nominated a political leader or prospective political leader, um, that leader was to care for the people of God. That leader was to ensure that righteousness was done. That leader was to ensure that justice was served, true justice, not um, chaos, not disorder, not violence, not brutality, not prejudice, not racism, not hatred. All the things that we have been suffering in these great United States for the past four years. And so scripture tells us, yes, we are obligated. We, we have financial obligations. And yes, we have legal obligations. But today the focus is on our obligation. Not just our right, but our obligation to vote. Because Jesus says, give, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. But then he goes on to say, give to God what is God's. And you must... We must ponder and think about what is it that belongs to God, or rather, what is it that God is asking for so that we may give it to him. And we see, once again, in Romans chapter 12 or 13, we see what God is asking for. He says in uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 9, the latter part, Love your neighbor as yourself. And then verse 10 goes on to say, love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And so what we've been seeing over these past four years is not what love looks like. And therefore, it's not what God is asking for. So today, November 3rd, 2020, Many of us, we voted early. I myself, I voted yesterday. But now it's up to you. If you haven't already voted, today, November 3rd, 2020, you have the opportunity to give to God what is God's. To make the right choice, to honor your responsibilities, your obligation, to ensure that we live in a just nation where people of all colors are free from oppression and brutality, are able to earn an honest living and to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our powers and privileges. God, the people of the United States in the election of officials and representatives, that by faithful administration and wise laws, the rights of all may be protected and our nation be enabled to fulfill your purposes through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.